With the minimum and recommended requirements for Evil Genius 2 now revealed, it's time to take a look at the PC hardware you'll need to take over the world and twist it into the contours of your sick vision when the game lands on Steam this March 30th. Hello and we uh, uh, oh, No, look, I've told you before, I want to see the original Evil Genius running on a ready salted crisp. I don't care about the collateral damage involved, you idiot! Make it happen! Oh, hello there. Welcome to our totally above board lair, where we do harmless science and stuff. Lately, our experiments have focused on PC system requirements. You know, that peculiar alchemy of throwing silicon shapes into a large box, decorating it all with tasteful LEDs, pressing the power button and hoping it's enough to power the vast, incomprehensibly detailed imaginary worlds. The minimum and recommended specs have now been announced for Evil Genius 2, so you can now see exactly whether it'll zip along on your gaming rig, or initiate the self-destruct sequence on your ancient beige box from the early 90s, which you're in explicably still using and hoping to run the latest releases on. Anyway, never mind that, before we dig into the specs, well done on arriving at this excellent channel and consider subscribing to us for more delicious Evil Genius content, including previews on the upcoming release and content from the classic 2004 Evil Genius. Now on with the show. Here we are then, the low-end specs. This might not let you max out every single slider and allow tessellation and volumetric lighting inside every minion's nostrils, but it'll take you to your new secret island base and give you the keys to 2021's finest spy-fi spectacle. And a graphics card with 2GB of VRAM will see you right such as NVIDIA's GT1030 or AMD's Radeon RX 550. You'll need 8 gigs of system RAM to store all of that second-by-second -second wrongdoing, and that's all running on the 64-bit version of Windows 10. How does your rig stack up against those specs? Will you be upgrading for Evil Genius 2? Tell us your dastardly plans in the comments, and next let's take a look at the recommended specs. Right, these are the specs for the people who can't leave the sliders at halfway and want to see the reflections bounce off Maximilian's head with the precision of a NASA flight plan. The recommended specs are just that, not essential for getting the game to burst forth into life on your monitor, but will provide a smoother experience with a bit of extra fidelity. We're talking Core i7 or Ryzen R5 in the CPU department, but don't worry, the stated Intel chip is from the 2013 generation, so it's not the very latest i7 hardware. Digging into the GPU, GPU side, 6 gigs of VRAM is recommended and the example cards are Nvidia's GTX 1660 Super 6 gig or AMD's Radeon RX 5700. That extra bit of video memory will definitely be put to good use in the shiny corridors, bustling casino floors and sandy beaches of your beautiful island lair. System memory will also stay at 8 gigs as it was in the minimum specs. And that's the minimum and recommended specs for Evil Genius 2 covered, but if your hardware comes from a bygone age where light beige was the be-all and end-all in personal computing style, and where gigabytes are only used to measure hard drives and never exceed double figures, behold, Evil Genius 2004, the game that started it all and the specs required to run it. Still glorious, isn't it? That wraps up our look at Evil Genius 2 system specs, so let us know if you're planning a new rig with a special evil aesthetic to mark the occasion of its release on March 30th. Once again, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications, that's the easiest way to get new videos from us. And leave us a like if you enjoyed the video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go and see how they're getting on with my crisp PC. Come on!